Vectors in geometry. Let's open up geometry. We're going to create a couple of vectors. We're going to create a vector that starts at 1. We'll go to 5 and we'll make it move over. Oh, we'll end at 5. And we'll take another vector that starts at 5. We'll end that at 7 or 8 and then we're going to move over just a little bit. Here are my two vectors. Let's turn on the background in the grid. So we're going to turn our grid to line, and we have our axes to scale. All right, now let's uh, highlight one of the vectors. You'll notice that you get the components of the vector. And we'll highlight the second vector. And when we highlight the second vector, you're going to see that we're going to find the angle between those two vectors. 40 degrees. If we want to see that measurement show up on the screen, we press VARS and we see the angle measure, toggle over, up, and we'll paste. That gives us the angle between the vectors. We can do the same with the components of the two vectors. So for example, if we want the components of that vector, 5 comma 2.4 vars execute and we will paste something else that we can do to prove that those are the in fact the components of the vector are to select the vector r and move it to its initial position at 0 0 at the origin so we're going to go ahead and select the vector use the hand tool to move the vector up and over to its initial position at the origin and then we can check that yes indeed 5 comma 2.4 